Hi, I'm Jason Mears. This is a quick introduction to HCX. So in the diagram behind me, we've got two data centers. We've got the source data center on the left, and we've got the destination data center or destination cloud on the right. And at the bottom of the diagram, I've got two separate networks uh, indicated by those two yellow lines. So the two separate networks, two different sets of IP addresses and ranges. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is deploy the HCX manager at the source data center, which is a um, OVA appliance. We're then going to deploy another HCX manager at the other data center, or if we're uh, moving stuff to the cloud, the cloud provider will already done this for us. But we need two HCX managers, one at either side. And then the next thing we do is site pairing, where we tell each HCX manager about the other so that we've now got a connection between the two sites. So that's the first step in doing HCX. The next thing then is that we need an interconnect or an IX. And again, uh, we, we, we use the HCX manager to build something called the service mesh, of which there are three individual components that you can have. Uh, we're going to talk about the interconnect. We're going to talk about the one optimizer and then the network extension or the layer two extender. Um, so you build the service mesh as one task inside HCX manager, but I'm going to talk about each component separately. So the interconnect does what it says. It interconnects the two sites together. And once we've set up the interconnect, we have a tunnel established between the two sites. So we've now got this uh, tunnel from the source data center to the destination center. And I'm going to show you pushing traffic through this in the uh, next sections of this video. So the next thing, which is optional, but usually recommended, is a one optimizer. So we have a one optimizer deployed at either end. And of course, once we've got a one optimizer, we've got a one traffic boost between them. Very important if you're doing stuff between data centers and clouds. Might not be as important if you're doing data center to data center and you've got good connectivity. But the option is there to optimize or boost the performance of traffic if you're going over a one. So once we've got that tunnel established and an optional one optimizer, I've got a virtual machine there and the downward arrow is pointing down. It's saying that this virtual machine is shut down or stopped. The VM is down. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to migrate that across that tunnel to data center two or the cloud data center, whichever one it is. And we're going to mig they migrate that across. So the red arrows are showing it's down when I start the migration and it's down when I finish the migration. And I've just done one cold migration there. Um, another option we could do is we could do a bulk cold migration. So here I've got three virtual machines that are powered down. I'm gonna migrate them in bulk. And when I finish it, I have three virtual machines powered down at the other side. So I'm only showing three on this slide, but it might be you know, maybe even a hundred virtual machines that we do as part of a bulk migration. It really depends on your connectivity and your bandwidth. So we've done a single cold migration and a bulk migration. Next thing I'm gonna show you is a live migration. So when we do the uh, live migration, I've got a single VM there that's powered on. Um, and I'm going to replicate it live from one side to the other. So now uh, when I migrate it, it's been done live. So it's a live vMotion from the source side to the destination side um, without with the machine being powered on whilst we're doing it. So we've done a, a single cold, a bulk cold and then a live of one virtual machine at a time. So now I'm gonna move on to a slightly different topic. Everything that we've drawn before, I've now done in gray, so you can tell what's new and what isn't. Um, so we've got exactly the same as before, HCX manager with an interconnect and optionally a one optimizer. And I've shown a single cold migration, a bulk cold migration, and then a live migration of one virtual machine. The thing we're going to look at next is this uh, layer two network extension. So we're doing layer two over layer three or network extension. Lots of different words for this, but it's basically the ability to run a single network or a single layer two subnet across both sites. What it really means is you can migrate virtual machines and you don't have to change the IP address or the MAC address uh, for it to work at either end. So we keep the IP address and the MAC address, even though it's moved from one site to another over this layer two network extension. So we deploy the network extension appliance at the source data center. We apply it at the destination data center and that creates this layer two network extension. So this network extension is going across the layer three network between the two sites and it creates a new 
layer two segment or new VLAN on top of that. The important part of this uh, layer two network or this new VLAN is that this VLAN works nicely across both data centers. So it, it's a stretch VLAN, but in a way that network uh, people are happy with because not every way of stretching a network uh, works well or uh, you know kind of works properly without causing problems. So this is the HCX layer two network extension. Of course, it doesn't stop you doing a layer two extension with NSX, and it doesn't stop you doing a layer two extension with physical hardware. So maybe something like Cisco or TV, but this is the layer two network extension in HCX. And now we're gonna move on to uh, another feature. So this feature I'm gonna show you is a HCX enterprise only feature, and it's called replication assisted vMotion. Um, again, we've got the interconnect and the one optimizer. It's up to us whether we use the network extension or not, but basically the only requirement for this is just HCX Enterprise. So what happens this time, I've got the same virtual machine at the top, I'm gonna to do a cold migration, but before I actually kick off the migration, I'm gonna replicate the data underneath first, so that when I actually start the migration, there's less data or less traffic to catch up over both sides. So we basically seed the migration first and then kick it over. So there's replication underneath and then the kicking over of the VM or the migration. And again, we can do that with bulk migrations or cold migrations. I could replicate three virtual machines. And then when I'm happy, the data is in a reasonably consistent state, I kick off the migration and I just finish the bits that were missing. So again, that's a replication assisted of, of cold. And we can also do replication assisted on a live migration. So again, still only one VM at a time. So we, um, we're doing a replication in the background of this powered on VM. And then when we're ready, uh, we kick it over. So that's again, another um, live migration, but all of those we're showing using replication assisted vMotion um, or replication assisted um, migration, sorry. Um, so that, that's a feature that's only in HCX Enterprise. And again, this was just meant to be a quick overview of what HCX is, what it does, and the various benefits of using it. So thank you very much for your time, and I hope you found that useful.